In this video, we will be adding the player spaceship into the game and giving it the ability to move around the screen. So let's begin. To get started, we're going to go to the bottom right of the screen and add a sprite. We're going to be adding a sprite from the royalty free game art, spaceships from unlucky studio file. We'll go to the spaceship art packet and then go to blue and scroll to the bottom to spaceship enemy. And this is going to be our player sprite. And we'll then want to change its size to 35 and rename it to player. Next, we want to start adding the code for our player so that you can move it around the screen. To get started, we'll go to events and select when I receive start game. We'll then select motion and we'll go to zero in the X axis and negative 120. This will be where our player starts off in the beginning of the game. We will then want it to point upwards. So we'll select the pointing direction block and make it face upwards, which is pointing direction zero. Next, what we'll do is go to control and select the forever loop. And then we'll select two if statements and place them inside the forever loop. We'll then go to sensing and take the key block and we'll put it in the first if statement and the second if statement. You can use any controls, either the left and right arrow, or you can use the A and D arrow to move left and right. We will then say if we press the A key, we'll then move left. So we'll select the change X by negative five and this will be the speed of our player. And to move right, we'll change the X by positive five. And we'll put this under the if D is pressed. Next, what you want to do is add rotation to our spaceship. In order to do that, we'll then duplicate this and remove everything and then go to control and select the forever loop. We'll then go to motion and select the block point towards mouse pointer. But then we want to set limits to how far the spaceship can move because we do not want it facing downwards as there will be no obstacles to shoot downwards in the game. We will go to control and select two if statements once again and place them under the point towards block we'll then go to operators to make boundaries for how far our player can rotate we'll put the greater than operator in the first if statement and the less than operator in the second if statement we'll then go to motion and select the direction blocks we'll put the first direction block in the first operator and the second one in the next operator we will then change this value in the second if statement to negative 50 and then select two pointing direction blocks, place one in the first if statement and one in the second if statement and make this negative 50 and make this value positive 50. So what's basically happening in this code is we're setting boundaries to how far our player can rotate because we can have our mouse going in any direction but we don't want our player to follow the mouse all the way we want to set boundaries or rather limits to how far our player can rotate so if we're going to the left we want our player to stop right here at negative 50 so that it's not being able to face downwards because once it starts facing downwards there'll be nothing to shoot and we want the game to be easy for the player to play and more fun so now the player will only go to the boundaries and we can have it move left and right next one we want to do is create actual boundaries in the game 
If we move to the furthest left, our player disappears. Or if we move to the furthest right, our player disappears. So what we want to do is stop this disappearing by saying if we move too far in the left, our player will stop moving. In order to do that, we go to events and select the when I receive start game. We'll then go to the forever loop and then select two if statements. We place them in the forever loop and then we go to operators and select a greater than operator and a less than operator and we place them into the two if statements. We then select the X position which is found in motion and we place them in the two operator blocks. And we then will set the limits as 196 and negative 196. And then we say if our X position is greater than 196, we then go right back to 196 so that we don't surpass this position. We do the same for negative 196 and we edit that value now our player can't move past these two points so that is it for this video what we've done in this video is create our player sprite and give it the ability to move around in the screen and created boundaries for how far it can rotate and how far it can move in the screen in the next episode we'll give the player the ability to shoot from its spaceship and also add asteroids to destroy. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Goodbye.